Welcome back to the Strong Tower series. We are in part 32, and we've got some exciting stuff to look at today. I want to begin by sharing with you two verses from Psalm 18, verses 1 and 2. They say this, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. What David wrote in this psalm sounds a lot like the language of our driving verse for this entire series. And a reminder of that, the dri driving scripture is Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Who the Lord is and what he does, his name acts as this strong tower for us. And this is why we're tracking down all of these attributes and titles of God throughout the Bible. In Psalm 18, what I opened with, David declared that God is his fortress, his refuge, the deliverer, and his rock. And I want for us to really emphasize that today. I want to spend time focused in on this title and this image of God as the rock. And that's our title for this strong tower. One of the most exciting places to look at God as the rock in the Bible is Psalm 62. And we don't have time to read the whole psalm, but we'll look at a few of the verses there, beginning with verses 5 through 6. Listen to these words that David wrote. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Those are words of confidence, not in Himself, but in who is the rock, being the Lord. As he says, my rock. I love that. Now, the word that he uses in Hebrew for rock is sir. And sir is not, it's not like this, this little pebble that I'm holding in my hand. This is not a picture of the kind of rock that David is speaking about. It would be a lot more like this. Look to the screen and we'll have a picture. This Hebrew word for sir, it, it means boulder or even a cliff edge, like the wall of a cliff. We don't want to have too small a view of God. David put his hope not in a God who is like a pebble, but in a God who is like a massive rock. With that in mind, let's read the next two verses in Psalm 62. This is verse 7 and 8. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. I love the imagery that David brings into that. As the rock, God is not only the hard outer shell as that fortress, but he's also the inner refuge, like a cave where David could tuck himself away from whatever the coming disaster was. And by the way, David was very familiar with hiding in caves, finding refuge inside of rocks. Some of the Psalms are even written while David is taking that refuge inside of the rocks, while he's pouring his heart out to God. And I love that when we talk about God being this rock, it's not just that hard outer surface of protection, but there's also, again, that inner refuge. We think a rock is just something hard and protective, but there's more to it. There's a place that we can pour out our souls to God as our rock. In these verses, all of the verses that I just read from Psalm 62, part of the repeating theme throughout them is that God is our salvation as that rock. And what is really cool about that in the Hebrew, when we say salvation, it's Yeshua. It's Jesus' name is within that. So even in Psalm 62, we're reading Jesus' name in its Hebrew part. And God as the rock is that salvation. I want us to go into the New Testament for a moment and see Jesus, our Savior, also 
identified as the rock. This is Acts 4, verses 11 through 12. It tells us there, Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. This is a quote that Peter's making as he's sharing this. And in verse 12, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Jesus is it. He is salvation. His name itself means salvation of the Lord. And here he's identified as a rock. It says that he is the stone. The stone you builders rejected. Listen, if you're going to build a building of stone and you do not have a cornerstone in place, the outcome will be disastrous. We have a picture right here on the screen of a cornerstone, and you notice the red star there that's identifying the cornerstone piece. All the other stones build off of that stone. All the other builds take or stones take their shape and their form from the cornerstone. That's exactly how it works with Jesus as Savior. We're built upon his strength. We're built off of his identity. We are in Christ. We take his form, his shape as that chief cornerstone. Jesus, the rock and our Savior. I have one more verse of scripture to read as we tie up this picture of God as this mighty and strong rock. Isaiah 26, verse 4, and it tells us there, Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. Don't you love that? He's not just the rock for a while. He is the rock eternal. He is our stability. He is our strength. He is our confidence, like he was for David forever. Let's speak to this great rock, to God himself Lord, we thank you so much for the fact that we have pictures of what you are like in who you are. And today we were able to explore just a little bit through your word about you being like this great rock. Not a little pebble, but this large stone boulder or a cliff side. Lord, we, we thank you that our hope is in someone like you. Because whatever may come in our life, Whatever kinds of struggles or fears or dangers may come, we can cling to you. And not only count on your protective care on the outer shell, but Lord, we also have that place of refuge. That warm place inside where we can just call out to you. We can pour out our souls to you. What a wonderful God you are. We thank you. We praise you. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, as this week continues, I hope that that will be a part of your prayer, continuing to view God as this great rock and to really be praying that not for yourself alone, but pray for the community, pray for the globe, that all of us would be turning our attention to God, turning our attention to the one who is strong and mighty. God bless. Shalom.